boats, anchoring damage, crown of thorns, starfish. When a UK cruise ship goes ploughing through a whole coral boat, it's not good. Potion acidification, rising temperature, and algae smothering. Yeah. Ocean acidification is when uh, the ocean takes in carbon from the atmosphere, so carbon dioxide, and it reacts with the calcium, which is already in the ocean floating around its particles. Um, and this takes away from the calcium that the corals need in order to grow. So they use calcium um, to create their structures and also animals like snails, they use it in their shells. So if there's excess carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, the ocean's taking in more carbon and therefore it takes away more calcium from the corals and there's less available for them to be able to grow and it also means that the structures that they do have can become soft. The algae is coming because of the excess nutrients which is coming from the land. So farmers using fertilizers and clearing land for, of trees which makes the soil more susceptible to runoff. So if it rains, if there's trees, it'll hold down the soil. If the trees aren't there anymore, then the, the soil will just run into the ocean and all the nutrients that are in the soil makes it a perfect habitat for algae. But the algae settle on the coral and they, that's where they grow. Um, they have perfect sunlight, which takes the sunlight from the coral. So there's Uzanthelae, which is the algae which live in the coral and give the coral their colour. Um, get stressed, they don't have the sunlight that they need so they, they exit and this, this causes coral bleaching and eventually coral death. Rising temperatures mean that um, those who really also get stressed, they, they reach some temperatures higher than uh, desired and they basically leave they leave the coral, leaving it white. And whilst the coral is still alive for a period of time, and the zoos until they can return, um, if they don't, the coral will eventually die because they're not getting enough nutrients. The zoos on are basically photosynthesizing for them and give them more food. Basically, corals are normally in coastal areas, they need sunlight so they're normally with from 2 meters depth to 10 meters depth which is also the, the perfect area if you're boating you want to anchor. If you're on a, an island you want to anchor close to the island. So boats throw down their anchor and it's usually on top of coral. And coral's very easy to destroy but very slow growing. So the likelihood is if an anchor goes down and destroys coral it, it will never grow back.